We build a raft, we can float out to the wasp. We make it to the wasp, and Molly's father will have to take us. Where? Home. Now hold hands. No one gets lost. Clear? Clear. Crystal. Ew, your hands are sweaty. Yeah, because perspiration's the mark of true leadership. <laughs> Yes. You there, Peter? Here. You there, Ted? Present. You there, Prentice? Prentice? Teddy, you're holding on to Prentice, right? Teddy? Guys? Where is everybody? Pino, Bianco, Serenano, Mosca, Pino, Grigio. Where are you, Peter? No. I'm here, Ted. No. No. I'm scared, Peter. No. I can't see a thing! Help, gorillas! No, I know! <laughs> Who was that? Danaloni! Chianti! It's me, sir! Linguini! Vino, Rosso, Monte Bolziano! Hot enough for ya! How do you eat this? So guy, ego, gentle! Their footprints! Something's chasing me! Monte Bolziano! Monte Bolziano! Who's that? What the? Chianti! I'm right behind you! Linguini! And I want that trunk! Did you want some tea? Linguini! And a biscuit, me. Help, I'm hungry! Help, I'm lost! I'm gonna find you! Chianti! I'll find you, Ted! Keep heading down! I'm sweating, me. Which way is down? Teddy! Prentice! Guys! You hear me? Hungry, Peter! Want that treasure! I'm the leader! Want that treasure! Help me, Peter! Want that trunk! World class swimmer that we know me to be, I reach the island in record time. I'm awfully glad I saved the boy, even if Daddy's furious. Saving the world a bit abstract for a 13 year old. Putting a human face on it makes it more jolly. Oh, this training bra is so irksome. Now, I really must fetch Daddy's trunk and bring it back to the wasp, or my first ever mission will be my last. Don't worry, Peter. Wherever you are, I'll find you. Dino, Rosso, Montevociano, Tocale, Cento. Primo Franzo, Topo, Gabinetto. Hello, I am king of this island, and you boys are my prisoners. Lasagna! <laughs> you three will do nicely. You speak English? If I must. Préférez-vous que je parle français? But, you're savages! We modest guys, not savages. I know where savagery is, boy. When I was a young man, English landed here, took me to your island in chains. Many long years I work as kitchen slave in not so great Britain, until by kindness of faith, a shipwreck brought my father back to Mollusk Island. Yes, in your language my name is Fighting Prawn. This is my son, Hawking Clown. There are two G's! My son will wear this hat once worn by my brutal British master. For years I was his kitchen slave, he beat me raw, but I was brave, and one day put him in his grave with a plate of poison pasta. Authentic! Thank you. Come, it is time. Time? Feeding time. Feeding time! Finally! <laughs> Not where you eat, piggy boy. Where you are eaten. You must answer to the law. The law, Mr. Green. Who's Mr. Green? We worship him, and he protects us from foreign trouble. Come, we feed you now the vicious crocodile. Wait! Don't feed us to any crocodile. First? First take us to Mr. Green. Crocodile is Mr. Green. Pasta! Ah! We can give you a great gift. Anti pasta! Aww. You said gift? A uh, story. Yeah, a bedtime story. Sleeping Beauty, right guys? Right. The thing is, I nodded off before the end. Maybe they will too, and we can get out of here. Okay, so we'll give you a story, you let us go, and we'll leave your island. Deal? Okie dokie, but if I am not entertained, it's Mr. Green for all of you. Assume the position, you have one minute. One minute? What am I supposed to do in one minute? I can't transform. I can't inhabit the character. Bring me the holy relic of my captivity. Here, my dear father, the kitchen timer. <sighs> one minute starting now. Uh, okay, um, one at a time. Upon a time, that's how they always start. Upon a time, upon a time. Tick tock, tick tock. Hungry, Mr. Green? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. 
once upon, upon a time, uh, there was a beautiful baby princess. And an evil witch with a curse. And the curse was very terrible. For every time the baby cried, the whole kingdom would fall asleep. Why did we miss that ring so big? 
We catch and kill the mighty father. But leave Peter Boy and let him be script proof for me. For fighting one more butterfly and deep and fine. Scampi! Butterfly and deep and fine! Butterfly and deep and fine! Butterfly and deep and fine! Butterfly and deep and fine. Set me down, Smee, you dozy prat! I can't walk another step. Trunk's hard to find, Captain. So it is. Elusive as the melody in a Philip Glass opera. <laughs> Rest yourself a while. Smee will track your treasure solo. Negaroni! We'll trick the Pulin spawn and make them bring it hither. What to do? How to smoke them out? We can learn, Captain. Learn, you say? Stupid idea, Smee. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Learn. Stu yes. Right here to the bush. Beach, beach. In which case, we shall need a magnet, a huge one. Down I track them. Smee, 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 Smee. I know your heart's in the right place, but... Smee, you've been hitting the three-bean couscous again. Where do I, Captain? Wait a minute! I have it! Uh, Captain? Lucky for me, you saved your ukulele. Captain Stash! A siren song is what we need, Smee. And you'll be the luscious siren. Whoa! Big crack! He's chewing all the scenery, sir! Not in my scene, he ain't! <laughs> Spare me the theatrics, you reptilian ham! <laughs> Abandoned spleen! Scene! Scene! Abandoned scene! <laughs> Grab anything that looks like it'll float. We're getting out of here. No. First take me to the trunk. Remember the mission. Forget the trunk. The trunk's safe. What we need is a raft. It's not your decision, Peter. Protect the trunk. That's the mission. You always have to have it your way, don't you? <laughs> What's that? Blinking fist. <laughs> it's Father. Father, oh good. He's signaling me all the way from the wasp. What's it mean? He's using Norse code. <laughs> it's Norse code, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I think you mean... Morse code? Not Morse code. Norse code. From Norway. The ancient Viking signaling system. <laughs> That's ridiculous. What's he saying? Unless I miss my guess, he's saying, Marla Bella Ferna Sina Haina Ferna. <laughs> and then he says, Un getsi Molly Doozy Blingin. That's first take Molly to the trunk. Cum Heller High Water. That's remember the mission. Very convenient. Un getty bling and doozy plakin, that's first take the trunk down to the beach. Marla Bella Ferna, father will be there with the longboat. Sina Heine Ferna will be Heine Ferna. Um, safe if we could just get pa past the pirates and make it down to the beach. Then turn in der flaken essen, neck and fresca tutor. Naben, naben, nessa, naben, nake up into ruba, lenka, sink and hook and keep the motor cooking. Anke, donke, for papa. Love, daddy. Women are tricky, man. I feel kind of stupid not knowing the region. It isn't a contest, though if it were, I'd win. And the running? You're fast. Well, better than me. Well, you're a better leader. Really? No. Come on, take me to the trunk. <laughs> the mollusks! The mollusks! We'll have to outrun them. Take the guys with you. I'll get the mollusks to follow me. Hear that, Princess? That's the sound of a real leader. I'm not leaving you. Why? Afraid I'll beat you to the top? As if. Bravo, Peter. Here I am, Mollus! Come and get me! Bounding through the jungle and up the mountain, Peter stops her only on top running the natives. Try to catch me, fight your prawn! And the faster he runs, the further he gets. From the Tower of the Beatings. The boarded up garrets. The smell of filth and dark in the cave. And the further he runs, the more he smiles. From saving the others. And being a leader. And something and Peter feels something entirely new. Alive. And all of a sudden, surrounding his head. Get out of my face, Belle! I can't see where I'm going! That's when he misses the legend falls. Molly! And down and down he burns. 
bumps and bruises. Leaving the natives with no one to chase. Banging and buffeting. Down the deep, dark crevices gravity beckons. Crooking the finger and winking her eyes. And kids are falling for her big time. And rushing up to meet him. A solid sheet of glass. Splash! His brutal fall is broken. And not his neck. And not by glass at all. But by a shimmering lake of golden water, far, far underground. He should have been drowning. He should have been afraid. But he was neither drowning nor afraid. Peter bobbed to the surface, safe as you please, and began to get his bearings. And the water was thick like oil, and full of light, and warm like a rich man's bath. And looking down fondly at Peter was... A mermaid. Well, well. <laughs> nice of you to drop in. I'm Peter. That's what I'm called. I know your name is Peter. I know a lot of things about you. <laughs> Where am I? In a hurry. That's right. I was running from the, the mollus neighbors. Yeah. They wanted to kill us, and all we wanted to do was get home. Yeah, life can be complicated. I was going to build a raft, but Molly's father was... You don't need a raft to get home, and you surely don't need the wasp. All you need is star stuff. How'd you know about... Listen to teacher. When you rode the trunk of this island, sea water seeped inside, and then the star stuff in the trunk enchanted the seawater, and the seawater enchanted the waves, and then the waves... But how'd you know about the I'm stuff? not finished. <laughs> and the waves washed all the water into the grotto where I was swimming. So, you used to be a fish? Scott Salmon. This is way cooler up my eye. <laughs> you know, the star stuff can change you too. Makes you what you want to be. But I just want to be a boy. Can't I just be a boy? Well, I suppose if you sit the star stuff. Please. Yeah? Then what? Sky's the limit! You could fly home, maybe, just like you dreamed. And find myself a family. In which case, you only need something. A name. Instead of Peter? In addition to. A family name. We've come up with a good one, haven't we, guys? And in the water, or in the grotto, or both, a voice, or an echo, or both, seem to answer, Pan. 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 What are you, boy? I'm Peter. Pan. 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 Pan? Do you mean like in the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> you are just too cute. I mean two things, actually. A, a fun, frolic, a mischief, anarchy, all the things a boy likes to Fun? Do. Okay. I'm Peter Pan. You see, you're changing already. You said Pan means two things. What's the second thing? Shouldn't you be on your way? Molly's going to beat you to that trunk. Molly. 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 The trunk. <laughs> Winners. Yes, we beat him to the top. We came in first. I'll make that very clear when he gets back. If he gets back, of course he'll get back. He has to. Face back, Smalley. The natives got him, and I feel terrible. We all feel terrible. But Peter's out of the running, which means we can finally settle the question of what, for lack of a better word, one might deem leadership. Cripes, a floating tomato. Say what? That red dot on the horizon. <laughs> Betty, you're a genius. We who are vast behind. My bloopers have stood up to stronger wind than this. The full speed ahead. Oh, come on. They're safe. That's good. I wish Peter were here. No. The mission comes first. Take me to the trunk. Come on, guys. Let's move it. The not the ten princes spent dragging the trunk up the mountain is worse than any of the orphanage. For the rain isn't like the rain of England. It falls like stones and hurts your head. And you can't see because there's trees in front of trees. Surrounded by trees, smacking your face. And you can't breathe. From the bugs. And the beetles. Slime. Crawling, sticky. Crunching. And they're in your mouth. And up your nose. And down your front. So you take cover and wait out the storm. But you can forget about sleep. Because it's way too scary out here and there's a drunk to save. And you still have to reach the beach.
I said forget about sleep. Teddy. He spoke out. Peter, oh Peter, I thought. You wouldn't believe the most amazing thing. Right. Well, good to see you, Peter. Shall we wake the boys? It's been kind of a long day. Leave them there. Just us, then. Yeah, just us. Hey, we should open the trunk. Make sure the star stuff's okay. Oh no, that's not, no. no. I just want to sit in the star stuff. Very dangerous, exposure to so much of it. I don't care. Well, I do. I'm so worried. We waited and waited. I told them you'd come. We waited, and then the rain, and the dark, and I was so worried. I'm here. Do you think I'm different? You're dirtier. So, I've been meaning to ask you about that, about the, about that thing you did. What thing? The, um, the kiss, okay, the kiss. What kiss? The kiss, the one you gave me. Oh, the kiss. What kiss, she says. Well, what about it? Just, nobody's ever wanted to kiss me before, that's all. Want to? I didn't want to. We I, were about to be I, eaten alive. You just, I was standing there and you just grabbed me. Oh, for heaven's sake, such a fuss. Didn't you like it? No, it was... You didn't like it? You didn't like it and now you're telling me you didn't like it? Unbelievable. I never said I didn't like it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> then what are you saying? I guess I'm saying... I guess I'm asking... You stop that right now, I won't answer any such question. You are inclining toward the sentimental, and that's all well and good for a boy, but the fact inclining is... Inclining toward what? We girls can't afford to be sentimental. We must instead be strong. And when I marry, I shall make it very clear to you. Mary? You thought I was asking you to marry? Not you, you swat. Oh, the ego. <laughs> and when I marry, I shall make it very clear to this person that sentimentality is not on the calendar. He'll have to lump it or leave it. And if he should leave, I'll stay spinster and pin my hair back and volunteer weekends at hospital. And I'll love words for their own sake, like Hyacinth and Piccadilly and Onyx. And I'll have a good old dog and think what I like and be part of a different sort of family with friends, you know? who understand that things are only worth what you're willing to give up for them. Even if I, in the face of death, I may have, you know... Wanted to? I didn't say that. Got it. Good. Wow. <laughs> you know, I might just, now that you're here, Rest my eyes for a little. No. Molly. No, the leader has to be. <gasps> Where's Peter? The mollusk got him, remember? Is that the sun? What's for breakfast? Ow! Did he say the sun? But if you can see the sun, if you can see the sky at all, we must be very near the beach. Come on, boys, we made it. <coughs> Come to me, ye shipwrecked sailors. Looky here, ye wave top whalers. Ooh ah, ooh ah. <laughs> Sailor boy, keep sailing near me, closer now, so as you can hear me. As your ship breaks to bits, from the deck for a sec, you can see my love. No, 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 no. We're trying to lure him, sweetie, not send him into psychoanalysis. 
<laughs> no, simple's best. We go with plan B. The poisoned fruit cake. <laughs> the hateful brats arrive. Empty beach. Tempting morsel. Turn your note. Feel free. Tuck in. They eat it. They die. They come, Captain! Let's kill us some kitties, Smee! Stay nasty! Stay very nasty! So hungry. So very hungry. There's a longboat. But where's father? Get your nice slice of fruitcake here! Get your nice slice of tasty fruitcake! Oh my gosh, yeah! No, Ted, don't! Fresh out the bakehouse! Yummy, yum, yum! You're the black stash. My father will have your guts for garters. Ooh. <laughs> Plan C, me. Poison fruit cakes, brats. <laughs> that was Plan B, me. Get rid of it. Wait, just a sliver? Too lady, maybe. Plan C, me. Oh! Molly! Molly! Oh, this is Umbre. This is Umbre. Brokens more like it. They grabbed us by the man gropers when we landed. The ruffians. Alf was valiant. Heroic. How dare you, madam? We're no ruffians. Why, we've never been to Ruffia. <laughs> I don't care what you are, sir. I assure you what I am. I'll tell you. Even if 
I never get home. Are we quite done with the hugging and learning? <laughs> Decision. It's a better world with you in it, Molly. No, let her go. Do you know that's me? Do you see it? Genuine, heroic sacrifice. Inspiring, Captain. I got goose flesh all over. <laughs> How flat and uninspiring the world must seem from the deck of the HMS Cynic. Go, lad. Take your girl and live another day. My first ever mission, and I wrecked it. Come, to me, open this trunk. Open and elaborate.
You may think my ship is saved, but I have a lot of options at my former fingertips. I may not be a concert violinist or reliable juggler, but I can still win Wimbledon, and I can still destroy you. You've made your bed, Pan. Go on, get the hook. North, northwest, big enormous ticking crocodile, back for another snack. I'm staging me steal, you snail tooth shower. Just not your day, sir. Just a minute. I could use a killer croc on me crew. How am I to learn, sir? Give him the ad. Wait, let's make it last. Just give him the finger. <laughs> Adieu, Pan. But believe this, wherever you call home, keep your back to the wall. For just when you least expect it, there I'll be. The stash, right under your nose. <laughs> Clap if you believe. Oh, Daddy, thank goodness you're safe. Oh, oh Molly, my Molly. <laughs> Boy, you good son. Fighting for an honor that. Boy, we wear a hat of hero. And fighting pawn will bend mother's claw. Allow all English to leave island. And you be good to Betty. Or I serve you up on day. Oh, don't worry, your prawnness. I got down on bended knee and Mrs. B said... You betcha! Betty's bound for bridal bliss! Aye, the HMS Bumbreak may have a few barnacles on her bottom, but I'll have a scrape them right now. <laughs> don't speak, dearie. Oh, prawny PTFM. Ta-ta for now, or in my language, Tiramisu! Then on sport, it's back to England. And then I can finally set my sights on the South Pole. The Antarctic? Oh, my name isn't Robert Falcon Scott. Trump to the longboat! Good luck, Captain. Don't let the Norwegians beat you to it. Nobody beats the British little girl. Rule Britannia. Not so little girl, a full-fledged star catcher. Full-fledged star catcher? Just like my wonderful father. She deserves it, sir. Molly's the real hero. Thanks, Peter. Mission fulfilled. We're going home. And you'll come with us. Can't they, Daddy? Can't the boys come with us? Mama! I told you. <laughs> and teacher said all I needed to get home was star stuff. Ha! Wrong. Who? Who's teacher? This tricked out mermaid I met. Well, she was a fish, but then she swam in the grotto and, well, we're going home! Wait. What grotto? The grotto. The one with the golden water. Did you go in that water? Yeah. It was all warm and tingly. The star stuff. And he soaked in it. We can't do this. But it already dissolved in the waves. The same waves that turn fish into mermaids. <sighs> I'm sorry, Peter. We can't take you with us. But why? What did I do? But he isn't evil or greedy, and he isn't- We don't know what he is, or, or what he wants to be. I just want to be a boy for a while. That's all I've ever wanted. There, you see? Well, with star stuff, a while could be a very long time. But the boy deserves a home. Of course he does, but... Oh, Leonard, old man, you're getting slow. Peter, what if your mermaid was right? She wasn't right. And neither are you. I thought she said the star stuff was all you needed to get home. But I'm still here. Precisely. Did she say anything else? She said I needed a family name. So she gave me. Pam. Pam as in all. All? The whole island. All the ants on the beach. All the birds in the air. The mermaids, the mollusks, the pirates. And the boys, too. Of course. Especially the boys. They're all your family. And how does that make you feel? Like... I'm finally out of the dark. There's a name for that feeling, Peter. Oh. 
And here you are. And here you'll stay. Me too. Totally. Count me in. Yeah, me too. Well, this is just so unacceptable. We asters do not leave boys behind. Whoa, it's that crazy bird after me again. Get out of my face, bird. Wait! Don't hurt that bird. You're going to need something to protect you. Now, it seems to me, if we take the last of the stock stuff and stir vigorously, I think it's anti-clockwise, Peter. Lend a hand. Whip the meringue. Whoa. So warm and tingly. Just like... And so... Wizard! My hair! Come here, you! I can totally do that trick. Uh, Teddy, come on, don't eat it, Teddy! <laughs> nice to know I've still got it. If you really wanted to protect him, you'd take him with us. Well, I'm afraid it's time for the goodbyes. Be a woman. Here's my address in London. You don't have to write me every day. Just when you feel like it. Well, you were know my address. Molly Island. Mollusk Island, you mean. Or maybe I'll call it Neverland. You know, to remember. The hat of a hero. Wear it when you get home. To remember. Molly, now. The tide won't wait. I want you to look after Prentice and Teddy. Five more minutes. Tell me a bedtime story, Molly. Come on, tell me. There'll be other tides, won't there? You see, she wants to stay. She can't. But I don't want it to end. Soon, Peter. You'll forget. And then it won't hurt anymore. No. It's supposed to hurt. That's how you know it meant something. Don't worry, Peter. You're going to remember everything. Every single detail. And you're the better leader. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> you won't stay mad at me forever, will you? Go on. Get lost. I'm bound to grow up, see. What would we do? Be friends? In a year, that'd be hard. In five years, it'd be silly. And in twenty years, it would just be sad. You're sounding older already. The thing you did, against impossible odds, it's what the two of you will always have. The thing we did. Against impossible odds. Oh. Yes, I wanted to. watches the wasp get smaller and smaller, warning about his adventure, about Molly, about that kiss. It would be the only moment that Peter would teeter at the top of the roller coaster, on the verge of becoming what he hated most, a grown-up. Then, as promised, he began to forget and stayed right where he was, the outsider. Molly, true to her word, would remember everything, until one night, many years later, she stared outside her nursery window watching Peter fly off with a daughter in tow. And this grown-up Molly would comfort her new nanny, the good old dog who tended her children. Don't worry, Nana, darling. I always hoped, if Peter came back, that my daughter would take my place. And once Wendy grows up... I bet you have a little girl. A little girl that will go with him in turn. And so may we go on and on, dear Nana, as long as children are young and innocent. And rude and juvenile and heartless. Past? all the jostles of life. Till we fly back home. Home. Help! That bird belt thing is after us! Keep it away! It's, it's trying to eat my brains! Over here! I'm the one you want! Get it away! Get it away! Okay, okay, calm down! Okay, all right. I think she wants me to race you down to the grotto. Look! Sash left it open! Oh, yes! Oh, it's so good, yes! It's hard to believe you're still single. <laughs> Wait, how can I race them down?
down to the grotto if I don't run. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can what? What'd you say? What'd you say? To have faith is to have wings. Wait a minute. Did you say grotto? How would you like to just be a boy? The star stuff water can do that? It makes you what you want to be. A lawyer? <laughs> Guys, this is going to be one awfully big adventure. You All said right. it. Ready? Ready. Ready. Set. 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 Go.